Figaro likes the flowers too. Yeah. My chickens do too. Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. Good morning. We're getting a nice drizzly rain on and off this morning. It's supposed to do that all day. This is the order I called in for rain for the upper part of the after property grass to start growing. So hopefully it doesn't rain too much because we got a lot of work to do up at the off grid property this morning. But first we gotta take care of all the animals and then we'll be heading up there to get some work started. You guys wanna get fed over here this morning? This is where you've been hanging out lately, huh? Put your feed right here. See, you like that. Yeah. The chickens out free ranging all around the property. They must be getting plenty of bugs and other things to eat because they're not really interested in their grain lately. But I'm not gonna complain because their eggs have been mighty tasty lately with whatever they've been eating. Come on and meet birds. You guys ate that whole dish again? You drank all that water? Sheesh, I filled it up twice yesterday and that was filled up twice. These guys are just monsters when it comes to food and water. But that's why they grow so quickly. Right from the beginning, they got a great appetite. Aw, we had one that didn't make it. It's always a bummer when you lose one of your meat birds. Think they're mountain goats? I guess so. And then Daisy's just over there eating her hay. Had some good grain this morning. Daisy says, you got anything for me? We're here at the shipping container cabin. We have the pasture all seated up above. And when we got that done, we put a survey out on our community tab on our YouTube page. These horse flies are bad this morning, sorry. Asking what project we should start next. And it was like 60% of the people said, come back down here to the container cabin and start working this area. So we wanna clean this up right around here. 
it's a jungle and then we want to clean up out back so we can use the container and make a nice little area back here. Tina did a little weed whack and it looks nice right here. Well, we want to clean up this area too because we have our nice door. So it'd be nice to have a little view out here, a cleaned up spot. All right, it looks so different right now than it did this winter down here. Yeah. It'll be nice to see what kind of transformation this turns into. When we put the container here, it was last fall, right before the snow fell. So we didn't have a chance to do any cleaning up here. And now that we have an excavator, we can make it all nice and flat and just make a nice workable area. It'd be nice, we can have like a little picnic area, a little barbecue area down here and everything. I'll just take a nap in there, will you? They'll take a nap. Gotta tighten that chain up. I can't wait to see what it looks like once we get it all cleaned up down here. make a chip and wood pile and we'll chip it up later on.
pull up some stumps. We got the birch tree that we cut down, and we got the smaller trees over there, and then we can start working our way in and clearing it out and see what we have in here to work with. How do you even see that? I almost ran it over. It's got like a cork top plug and you can actually see an air bubble in the glass. I'm not seeing any stamping though. I'm glad I didn't run that over and break it. I don't know how I didn't break it. That's neat. Start and 
see how good we can get. Maybe like a spring, and one of them looks like maybe like a harrow or something. We were told back in the day that this used to be an old farm, and all this was cattle and sheep land. Sheep land. So, I wonder what it used to be. over here, pile them up somewhere, and we'll make some kind of nice rock wall or rock feature somewhere. Might as well do something with them, we paid for them, right? <laughs> and now we have the equipment to move them around. It's raining out, which is a disappointment for working, but I'm excited, because that means the upper area is getting rained on, so the grass is gonna start growing. It's supposed to rain really good all the rest of the day today, and then on and off tomorrow, so. We need it, it's been pretty dry lately. Here's an old glass bottle from June 59. Dura glass, and then right here it says, not to be refilled. No deposit. 
no return. Huh. And it's not a screw top. It's a pop top. Dura glass. I've never heard of that before. Interesting. And then an old oil can or some sort. Looks like a quart metal can with an orange top and a blue label. Need to grease those hinges. Smells like it did. We have lights here. It's off grid and I don't have the power pack so we can't turn the lights on. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, it is. We fixed the leaking window. That's gonna look so nice. Look at that, off the window. I can't believe how good the soil looks. I know, it's amazing how nice and dark brown it is. But there used to be farmland. Once that's all back here, like that, we're gonna leave a lot of the trees because we want to still be in the woods. We're not taking down all the trees. We're gonna leave the bigger trees and just clear out the small stuff and the brushy stuff. I don't know how far that way we're gonna go, but it'd be nice to go a decent amount so you get a good view of here. And then back here, I wanna open it up a little bit more. And then, but leave the bigger maples out back. Yeah, just kind of clean it up. Clean it up so we can mow around here, keep it clean. It'll, have, it'll be less buggy. And then we can use the cabin more. We can do some overnights here. We need some leveling out. Too. Yeah, we gotta level out down here. We might have to bring some stone in right off here to have like a little deck area or a little sitting area. That'd be nice to make like a barbecue spot or a fire pit fire and a pit sitting there. area. Another fire pit. So we have two identical springs like this. And I'm thinking this might be a step because that's where you would step in to get in the wagon. This one's got one too. Look at it. What is that? So this one to me looks like it's got a star. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Yeah, the star. A big star and like oh, yeah. braille. And then in the center. Oh, it's definitely a star because there's a star right there yeah. and then bumps. Bumps. And then this one is something else. Just bumps, like, and then ridges? Yeah, it's like just a bunch of little bumps here for grit and then lines. I wonder what that it was It was something for. fancy. What do you think? Something. And this one had one that I must have broke it off. What the heck? That's, fre that's a fresh brake mark, so I must have done that. Huh. So where's the piece? In the dirt pile somewhere. But these were all buried. Interesting. I wonder what else we'll find. We're gonna have broccoli tonight. You're hiding some broccoli in here? Yeah, I got for the one that was windy. Okay. Holy moly. So excited. I think just one head will do, so I'm gonna pick this one. That's a nice one. And then we got one coming up right there. And another one. Over there. Those are two I think big ones. I think there's like five other ones there. There's smaller ones, yep. They're almost all doing something. This is the best we've done with broccoli so far. This is the best. I hate to cut it. I'm so excited. Look all at right. that thing. You want to soak it? And then cut it up and eat it for supper. And then our Brussels sprouts right here are doing pretty good. We're starting to get little tiny <gasps> Brussels sprouts growing. Oh, yeah. So we're having some chicken in the oven and we're going to have some broccoli from the garden. Which I'm super excited about. I just have it soaking over there in salt water just in case there might be any kind of worms or anything in there, I don't want to eat those. So just to be on the safe side, I don't see anything, but I'm soaking it. And then I'm just gonna steam the broccoli. And then we're gonna have the best ever scalloped potatoes. At least that's what the recipe's called. 
It's justapinch.com, best ever scalp potatoes if it's something you're interested in. So I'm just going to spray my pan because I always, if I don't do it first, I forget. So spray that nice and good. And the recipe is for a larger pan and I'm just doing a small amount. Going to layer my potatoes and then my onions, salt and pepper, onions, potatoes, salt and pepper. All right, the potato part is done, so let me go ahead and make the topping. So I do four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of flour, get that mixed in, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken broth. Boy, does it feel good to be up at the off-grid property working on the shipping container cabin area. It's going to be so nice once that area is finished. We can start using the cabin for weekend getaways or overnight stuff and just having a nice little area to hang out. We want to have like a picnic, I don't want to call it a picnic area, but like a barbecue area where we can, if we're catching fish or whatever, we can have another place to hang out and just relax. It's going to be perfect. If you guys have any ideas of what we should be doing in that area, leave it in the comments down below. We always enjoy reading your suggestions because it just gives us new ideas. We don't always think of everything. Hear that? Rain on a tin roof. I love that sound. The reason we're not working up above at the homestead site right now is we want that grass to come in and I don't want to damage anything, so we're going to let that grow in. And I wanted to get that done first because the issues we had here at this homestead when we were trying to get our pasture to grow, we kept getting rain and it kept washing everything out. And I have like nightmares of that pasture getting washed out over and over and over again. So I wanted to make sure to get these pastures seeded and then we can go on and do the rest of the stuff we need to do at the homestead sites. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed because that makes a big difference too on the YouTube end. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Bye.